Hey yo, what's up buddies? I'm on a new adventure and I'm going down to a really cool spot for my birthday. So I'm like hitting some mushroom spots on my way down there, slowly making my way down. So um, I wanted to have some more videos, but it's been raining so much and I didn't get to check some of my spots, but I'm finally at a cool looking spot and I already found an Amanita. So I think that's a good sign. Um, yeah, it's kind of like dreary and cold and rainy and my feet are frozen, but that's okay. I think I'm going to find some cool shit. The goal for today, I really want to find Quartinarius Iotes. My friend was telling me that they need some more um, samples of those for barcoding. So, and that's one of my favorites to find too. It's a really pretty purple Quartinarius. So, that's like my favorite genera now. So, I'm going to look for that. I also, I was looking on iNaturalist and apparently they have the cobalt crust around here which is like on my bucket list of mushrooms to find or fungi to find. It's this really cool, like brightly colored crust fungus. Like usually crust fungus is kind of boring. It's just like flat and not very exciting, but they do have really cool blue and purple ones. There's also the purple one, Phlebioopsis crassa or something like that. So I'll be looking for some crusty boys and some Cortinarius and really just anything that I can find. I'm just excited to go mushroom hunting. We haven't had rain in forever, so of course it starts raining as soon as I start traveling. I kind of hate driving in the rain, but I'm glad there's some moisture finally. So yeah, let's go. Oh, uh, oh my God. So I just, I was at a rest stop a couple hours ago and this very nice man recognized me from YouTube. I felt so fancy. He was like, hey, you're that mushroom girl from YouTube. I'm like, oh my God, that's me. So he was very nice. So hello, if you're watching this, you made my day. Thank you for saying hi. Hope you find lots of mushrooms. Um, so yeah, also, oh my God, you guys, I almost have 100,000 subscribers, which is freaking crazy because it took me three years just to get 30,000 subscribers in like the past couple weeks I've like tripled so I had some videos like start to go viral and now YouTube is just pushing it out so it's crazy like maybe by the time I get home I'll have one of those fancy 100 100,000 subscriber play buttons so that would be so cool that would be a good birthday present for myself so okay let's go find some cool shit let's go found this one it seems like a rustler but like it's like slimy I've never seen such a slimy boy what could this be every time I go somewhere new it's like I have to relearn all the mushrooms it's like a whole new world over here but that's kind of why I like it. it keeps you on your toes I'm gonna try I'm gonna put this on iNet and see if I can find out what it is. I just found something kind of cool. I almost thought it was a bleat at first, but I think it's just the partial veil is, yeah. Oh, cool. It's like, is this some kind of amanita or something like it? I don't know anything around here apparently. Oh, I wish I had my macro lens. I feel like I say that in every video, but oh, I'm gonna try to get a good photo with my phone because the droplets on the gills. Oh, this looks so cool. I might have to take this one. Oh, this is awesome. Mm. It's so cute. Oh my god, I'm excited. I haven't gone very far and I've earned any funny cool shit. Look how cute that is. I love it when they grow on pine cones. 
I don't know what any of these are. I feel like I'm in a whole new world over here. But I'm so excited. I'm finding so much cool shit. We've been in such a drought. Like, I haven't gone mushroom hunting in a while. So this will be nice. So here we have Sterium Complicatum. This one, I haven't seen so much of it before. Like this whole, all these logs are filled with it. It's so cool. This one gets confused with turkey tail, but this is actually a crust fungus. So it'll be smooth on the underside. And then I found a bunch of milky caps. This is some kind of Lactofluus, Lactitarius. Um, these will ooze out that white, jizzy, sloop. Really cool little fungus. Wow, I just found this really crazy looking, I guess it's an Amanita, but it's like neon yellow. It was like all covered up and I just noticed this big old bump. Let's dig it down a little bit. Oh yeah, that's gotta be an Amanita. I see a vulva. Ooh, sexy. Who are you? got the partial veil right here got kind of like a bulbous base at the end so that shows me it's probably an amanita but this one is unique to me I'll have to take some cool pictures of that Hewn by hand for the ages, this log house was built by hand out of longleaf pine logs sometime during the 18th or 19th centuries. Okay, sorry, I can't do that accent anymore. But it says, an early attempt to date it through tree ring analysis indicated that it was constructed in 1754. Though more detailed study is needed to confirm this date, 
It is likely that the log house is one of the earliest surviving buildings in the area. This house was originally located on the northwest side of Columbia. It was in such poor condition that it had been condemned and was saved by the Odom family and the Women's Club of Columbia who donated it to the state. That's awesome. I love little log houses like this. Someday I want to have a little log house on my mushroom farm. Oh my god. Usually I don't get excited for plants or anything, but this is the coolest little flower thing I've ever seen. I have no idea what this is. I wish I had my macro lens. Dang it. It's really cool though. Wow. I think I just found something really cool. This looks like maybe some kind of crusty, dusty, old like Ganoderma or something that's like has some mold or something taken over. But there's something growing on top of it. Some kind of parasite it looks like. Ooh. I love parasites. I'm gonna try to get a really cool picture of this and I'll save this one for barcoding maybe. Cool, that was a good find. I love it when stuff grows on stuff. It's so cute. 